Hello, this is time, speed and distance lesson 1.2. In this, I will continue with questions on TSD basic. TSD basic does not mean that these, these questions are very simple, does not come in exam. These questions are the most important questions that can come in TSD. Lesson 1.2 is a continuation from lesson 1.1. Now, all the questions in this lesson 1.2 are based on concept explained in the previous lesson. So, for every question as written, pause the video. I will not say again again. For every question, pause the video, try to solve yourself using concept, option, logic and assumption without claiming of formula etc. Then look at the way I have solved. So first question I am going to solve is this. Question 1 is in covering a distance of 60 km, Ram takes 2 hours more than Sham. We don't know Ram's speed, we don't know Sham's speed. If Ram doubles his speed, then he would take 1 hour less than Sham. What is Ram's speed? Now in this case only thing we know that distance is same. So distance dis distance is same that is 60 km. This is same distance 60 km. Now Ram takes 2 hours more than Sham. We don't know the speed of Sham. It is speed of Sham is SS. Speed of Sham. Time taken by Sham is T. You have to write minimum. Shams take T hours to cover the distance 60 km. Sham's speed is SS speed of sham distance is speed into time this is case of sham ram cover the same distance so speed of ram is let's say sr speed of ram sr time of ram given that ram take 2 hours more than sham so t plus 2 hours will be taken by ram Now, this is again question 3, Ram doubles his speed. If Ram doubles his speed, he would take 1 hour less than the Sham. If Ram double his speed, which means speed of Ram become 2 SR. If speed of Ram become double, same distance. The question is talking about same distance. If the Ram double his speed, the same distance of 60 km, then he would take 1 hour less than Sham. If the speed of Ram is double, he will take 1 hour less than Sham. So Sham was taking T, T R. So Ram will now take T minus 1 R. This is again Ram distance. You only need to understand the concept. You don't need to cram the questions. Now you, we can equate these two and find the value of T. You can see that SR to SR will get cancelled out. SR to SR will get cancelled out. So you are left with t plus 2 is equal to 2t minus 2. So you will get t is equal to 4. We have taken t in r so t is equal to 4 hours. t is equal to 4 hours. Now what we need to calculate ram speed. Now first you can calculate the ram speed was the distance ram was 60 km. This is SR, put any of the equation into T plus 2, T plus 2. So Ram's speed SR, T is 4, 4 plus 2, 6 into 60. So speed of Ram would be 10, this is 6 hours, 10 kilometer per hour. This is the speed of Ram, that is our final answer. So you can see that I can solve this question in exam in less than 30 seconds. You need to also practice this and try to solve using this kind of concept. Distance is same, distance is speed into time. Second question is, if A travels at a 60 km per hour, he reaches the destination, some distance is there at 5 pm. We don't know when he started his journey. If he increases his speed to, speed to 80 km per hour, he reaches there 2 hours early find the distance he has to travel. Now each question can be solved either with the help of concept or options or logic or assumptions. I will solve this question with the help of concept as well as option. Now concept first. Travel distances, we don't know distance is same, same distance d, let's say d is the distance. If nothing is given you have to assume the variable. d is the distance. Now speed in the first case, distance speed in time, the 60 km per hour is the speed. He reaches 
is destination at 5 pm this is a time given this is not given time duration we don't know how much duration it will take so duration would be let's say t hours t hours now what the question say is increase the speed to 80 this is second speed 80 km per hour early first speed word this was s1 this was time t1 second speed into second time he reaches 2 hours early it means that earlier time duration was t hours now time duration will be t minus 2 hours now he will reach 2 hours early now you can solve this first cancel is 24 is 80 23 is 60 you get 3 t is equals to 4 t minus 8 t is equals to 8 <coughs> if t is 8 hours you can simply calculate distance was 60 into t so 60 into 8 distance is 480 kilometer so that is our answer 480 kilometer option number 4 this is the our answer that was with the concept let's see how to solve this question this kind of question with the help of options i am solving in this place i will make this small place i will solve with the help of options now options uh, two speeds are given the time difference in these two speeds is 2 hours this is what you need to understand that first he reaches a destination at 5 pm now he will reach 2 hours early in the second case means that in second case he will reach 3 pm the so time difference is 2 hours now let's say when the distance was first option i'm taking distance time in the first case time in the second case time difference should be 2 hours now you have to do fast whenever you are solving the help of options when the distance is let's say first question 240 so with the speed of 60 it will take 4 hours with the speed of 80 it will take 3 hours time difference is 1 hour this will not be our answer second case 360 kilometer 360 at the speed of here time i'm taking t1 means you are traveling that speed of 60 at a speed of 80 360 at a speed of 66 hours 360 by 80 this will come fraction no need to solve this because time our time difference is numerical that is 2 hours third case 420 speed of 60 it will require 7 hours speed of 80 is again 420 by 80 fraction no need to solve this completely fourth option is 480 when the distance is 480 with a speed of 60 how much hours will take 8 hours with the speed of 80 how much hours will we take 6 hours time difference is 2 hours that is our answer so in this way you need to solve this question with help of options both will take almost similar time with the option you can solve maybe 20 seconds earlier because it may require 30 40 seconds by concept and with the options you can solve with 20 seconds but you must know both the methods question 3 is a man cycle from his home to office if he cycle at 8 km per hour he would reach office 6 minutes late if he cycle at 10 he would reach 12 minutes early find the distance now we don't know the original speed original distance as well as original time we don't know anything so let's assume that original distance was d original distance was d original speed was s original time was t this is the actual usual time usual speed now what the question says that if we cycled at 8 km per hour it means speed becomes 8 speed becomes 8 distance is speed into time time would be 6 minutes late 6 minutes late than the usual time it's not mentioned but by common sense the, the questioner want to say that you 6 minutes late than the usual time so usual time was t minutes now you can see that in this case this question is very important because the speed is given in kilometer per hour so time we have to take in hours so that distance will come in kilometers because distance if speed will take kilometer per hour if we take speed in kilometer per hour we have to take time in hours then only your distance will come in kilometer this t i have taken t minutes this time i am taking in minutes now the time is six minutes late so in this case t plus six late means t plus six minutes second case speed is eight time would be six minute late t plus 6 minutes these are minutes i have to convert in hours i will convert this into hours by 60 how to convert minute into hours divide by 60 third case the same distance d 
same distance it travel at 10 speed speed becomes 10 now distance is speed into time time becomes 12 minutes early than the usual time so 12 minutes early means t minus 12 usual time was t minutes the person will reach 12 minutes early so time will be t minus 12 minutes or it will be 60 now you solve this you will get your final answer so 60 to 60 get cancelled out i'm just solving this here only 60 to 60 will get cancelled out you get 8t plus 48 is equal to 10t minus 120 2t is equals to 120 plus 48 168 your t would be 84 84 minutes will be your t because t we have assumed in minutes now what we need to calculate distance distance put the value of t and you find the distance distance was d was what was our distance distance was 8 into t plus 6 by 60 that was our distance i have just taken the above equation this is our distance Let's put the value of t 8 into 84 plus 6 by 60 this becomes 8 into 90 by 60 33 is a 32 is a 12 kilometer will be our distance so this question was very important because we have to convert minutes into hours because the speed was specifically given in kilometer per hour 10 is from two places p and q and headed for q and p respectively they crossed each other after x hours it means that their first meeting was after x hours after that one of the car took 9 hours to reach the destination while other took 16 hours to reach the destination now these kind of question in most of the aptitude books or coaching center they will tell you the formula but no need to cram the formula this question is very simple let's say this is p and q this question can be sold under a minute person a is running let's say person a is running from p to q car a so person a car a is running from p to q car b is running from q to p add it for p car a destination is q car p, b destination is p they cross each other let's say they met uh, at there some place it will not in between because when you take midpoint it means the speeds are equal speeds are different that's why they are taking different different time to cover the same distance now you can see that let's say they met here they met here they met after x hours means this car a travel from here to here in x hours car b travel from here to here in x hours now after meeting one of the car took nine hours that it is this car took nine hours to reach the destination this car took 16 hours to reach the destination now you can see that let this, this point is r now P to R, both car are covering the distance PR, both car are also covering the distance RQ. We will take the distance same. Distance I will take this distance. Distance the distance I will take PR. Distance PR is fixed. This distance is covered by both the cars. Car A as well as B. Only difference is of time. But we don't know speed. Distance is speed into time. Speed of car A is SA. Speed of car is let's say, say distance SA, distance speed into time. Time taken by car A to travel the distance PR is X hours. We know that. Speed of car B is SB. The same distance is covered by car B also. Speed SB, but car B is taking dis covering distance PR in 16 hours as per the diagram. So here you will get the speed of A is to speed of B. The ratio is 16 by X. Second case, the distance I am taking is QR. This QR distance is also covered by both car because for both car the distance QR will be same. The only difference will be of time. The speed of car A is SA. The car A is covering distance QR as given in the question in 9 hours. Speed of car B, distance is speed into time. Speed of car B is SB. Car B is covering the distance in X hours. From here also you get SA upon SB, speed of A upon speed of B would be 
x by 9. Now both equation left side is same. So right side will also be same. 16 by x would be x by 9. You will get cross multiply x square will be 144. 144 is 16 into 9. x would be 12 because 144 is the square of 12. So 12 hours will be our answer. Now you can solve this question in exam in less than a minute. Only you need to form the two equations and then find the answer. No need to cram the formulas because how many formula you will cram because question can be of many many different types.